to another episode of Fun Friday Ideas with me, Susan Morgan, your speech language pathologist. Today, I want to talk about music. Music is something that has evolved with us. It started as a way to hand down our traditions, our beliefs, our, our stories. Over time, it's now evolved into the beautiful art form that it is with the numerous genres and various different languages and the complexities that it now has with various instruments from nursery rhymes to pop music to jazz to classical to urban hip-hop and country music it's important that we involve music in our in our children's development one thing that i highly recommend that you guys have is a little band kit this my band kit has Xylophone, maracas of different sizes. I have my bells that my bells that jingle. I have my finger cymbals. I also like to call them zills from back in my belly dance days. <laughs> That's a fun word to say, zills. <laughs> or finger cymbals, whatever you want to call them. Got my xylophone, got my triangle. And little egg shakers. Egg shakers are fun to make this time of year with your disposable um, egg Easter eggs. So you can put different beans or rice, uh, pom poms, which make barely any sound at all. And you put different side, different te different textures, different little beads inside of the disposable Easter eggs, and then you can hear the difference between. ones sound different, which ones are louder, which ones are quieter, which ones you like and which ones you don't like. All right, so if you're going to play with the different instruments, I like to do a little rhythm game where I go and see if my, my children will pick up on that rhythm. Again, if, if, if a simple is really nice and easy, then maybe I'll make it a little harder. And I mean, I might tap it out too to make it even more explicit. So now with using our instruments, not only are we working on that rhythm, we're getting in some great sensory input in our auditory system. We're also working our arms and our muscles. We're getting our movement going. So along with music, we have dance. And dance is how we get our body involved. So we're working on our language and we're working on our communication. We're working on those patterns and that rhythm. And now we're working on our coordination by dancing with it. So one fun thing, if you have the finger symbols or, the, or even the maracas, see if we can... And again, do that back and forth. So not only are we doing the rhythm, we're coordinating our body to move in that same rhythm. The more comfortable your kids get with you moving in a rhythm, the better that their motor development is getting. So encourage that, encourage that. Again, I, I, I have very little music ability. I'm virtually tone deaf. But with my xylophone, I love doing the different colors and seeing the different patterns that we can get going. Maybe you'll discover that your child is really amazing with music and has some great music skills. Build on those. Get into music therapy. There is some great research out there supporting music therapy for our children. Again, music gets our children connecting with us. Music gets our children using longer sentences and communicating better. It gets our body involved, especially if we start dancing with these. We can throw the signs on top. We all know twinkle, twinkle, little star. We all know those signs there. If not, you can definitely look that up and find out the signs to go on top of your favorite nursery rhymes to even further your gestural communication development. Don't just have to break out the instruments to get music going. You can also sing during daily activities. This helps teach routines. So for example, with washing our hands, I like to wash, 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 wash my hands. Or I like to do wash, wash, wash my hands with some soap and water. Again, 
play around with different lyrics, different sounds, different tunes, and help use music to teach a routine, like washing hands, putting our clothes on, getting ready for school. Think about how you can make these different steps into lyrics of a song. During mealtime is another fun time to get music going and to get songs going. I love the song Apples and Bananas. You might remember it. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. If you're not eating apples and bananas, change it up. I like to eat, eat, eat peas and carrots or chicken nuggets. Change it to what you're doing. That way you're teaching the vocabulary of what's going on in the moment. You're making mealtime fun. Remember, you gotta keep mealtime fun. I know with our picky eaters that can be really challenging. Keep it fun, keep it lighthearted. Bring the songs in there. There's also other ones where we can talk about the dish running away with the spoon and take that dish and take that spoon and make them run, run, run away. <laughs> Lots of fun ideas where we can take music put it on top of what we're doing and learn language, routines, communication, lots of great stuff going on. Get the dancing going, you got that gross motor movement going too then. All right guys, so let me know in the comments below how you're incorporating music into your daily routines this week. Are you singing new songs to teach a routine or are you making mealtime a little bit more fun by singing along with what you're eating? Or are you breaking out your little garage band with some pots and pans or another music kit that you may have purchased? Let me know. What are your favorite tunes? What are your favorite instruments? And I don't know. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.